A hole is a hole, isn't it? The hole itself was big and dark, as any hole would be. Well, that's not true. A hole could be as tiny as a pea. But this one was. Big and dark, I mean. Were you not concentrating? Within its depths were many secrets, things I cannot tell. Well, not until you get much further. No, it isn't hell. Not my hell, anyway. Admittedly, it might be yours. Let's move on. This hole was in a garden, behind a terraced house. Nothing fancy. The house, I mean. A few dull plants, a patch of green, and of course, a big dark hole. Lo, 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 lo. Did I mention it had an echo? The hole was not a rabbit hole, just in case you were wondering. Some might say a portal. They'd probably be right. Others oft call them wormholes. Well, there are worms down there, all right. In truth, there isn't anyone who knows the proper truth. Verity, reality. Let's stick with truth. And while we're at it, is this a true story, forsooth? Hmm, you decide. Adele is still at uni. She lives in this said house. Yes, a student digs. Well, no, students don't dig. Not even holes. The garden's a mess. Her chosen subject, history. Was that a mind jump? I think it was. And I must confess, her method of study was unusual. For she was not a normal student. In this land of England, she was a well-known witch. Within her coven, not everyone knew. And one of her great passions was finding out the verity of many long past actions. Kind of like a time-travelling witch. Well, who wouldn't want to know what really happened? She thought it was a simple spell to create a tear in time, and that was true as far as it went, and so she rent the fabric. Literally. A dirty great hole. Not quite what she'd been expecting. TV shows have got it so wrong. No wibbly-wobbly. No flash of light. It was kind of a disappointment. She knelt down on the green stuff, her breaths decidedly rough, her courage in her throat, and reached a hand out tentatively, slowly, until it disappeared. Yay, they got something right. And then... It gobbled her up, rather like a vacuum cleaner, a speck of dust to its vastness. What then happened in the hole, Adele will never tell, because her eyes were tightly closed and boy did she just yell. The creatures standing round her were really quite surprised when she finally opened her eyes. Interesting fact, there were no spades in the Jurassic period. Good job she had her spells. Bad job. Her brain had frozen. Good job. They were herbivores. Bad job. Something roared and they ran. Good job. She'd landed in a tree. Thank goodness for gods and machines. No goodness for what came next. When you watch a recreation of a dino fight, doesn't turn your stomach quite so much as reality might, because it's always a model, not an actual thing, a guess, conjecture, presumption, without that final sting of reality. Not a fact, not real blood and gore, not fear, not survival, not life. She saw it all. This wasn't what she'd wanted. The subconscious mind of a witch, it seems, is quite a dangerous place. One where things most recently read, things uppermost in that magical head, facts about creatures long, long dead, into a spell had definitely bled. Oops. The fight went on for what seemed like an age, 
and her skills were nothing like that of a mage. So she waited and watched and thought and cried, all behind the veil of a magic that lied about what the creatures could see. And when she finally descended the tree to cast that spell so magically, she thought extra hard about where to go. Her home, her house, the magic would know. And it did. Of sorts. Shame she didn't specify when. Attention to detail is not Adele's forte. But you'd already guessed that, hadn't you?